Hello everyone, Katon here, director and one of the lead concept artists for Project Armada. For any newcomers tuning in, Project Armada is an action-adventure collectathon platformer centered around Miles' Tales Prower. We wanted to give Tales a focus because we think the little guy never really got a chance to shine. I mean, look at what they did to him in Forces, and most of the Sonic games. Anyway, if you guys are interested in the project, there are links down below where you can check us out. Also, be sure to join the Discord server. We are posting game development logs about our progress with coding, design, and even more. So if you want to see the game being made, join the server. So let's get into the drawing. Um, so I first did this and I wasn't recording like my initial layout process. So I don't think you'll see that in the video. So what I did was I laid it out and then I went over it with like tighter pencils and I just started to add a little bit of details before I went into the inking process. Now for the inking process, I'm doing everything on Clip Studio, by the way. Um, I'm using vector layers. And the reason why I use vector layers is because I want my lines to come out uh, more clean and crisp. And with vector layers, you can really play around with the lines manually as if you was doing graphic design. So uh, that's why I started doing, I started doing all of my drawings in vector layers, to be honest. And then here I made everything gray just so I can uh, flatten it and make sure, you know, everything is supposed to be looking the way it's supposed to be looking. Uh, I don't want any like white spots showing or any anti-alias thing going on. So I did try uh, a few things. This piece was a lot of trial and error just because I was trying to change my uh, coloring style a lot and I was learning new things. And then I had went back because I noticed that some things were just way out of proportion. So uh, I went back to change it. And don't be afraid to go back on your process if you have to change something. Um, I'm just the type of person that I'm not going to settle if I see something is not looking right. So then I start to map out my lighting. And it was pretty difficult at first. I had to draw a sun in order to remind myself where exactly the light source was coming from. So I don't go overboard with the rendering. And then I had duplicated the flats layer. I multiplied it and I started to erase it. So that's how I'm getting like uh, the, the lighting. I'm just erasing all the dark tones and then I make another multiplayer layer on top of it. And I'm just doing some more highly detailed rendering. Uh, your process doesn't have to be like this. Uh, but the reason why I wanted to do this is because I wanted uh, to, I want the quality to be there. You know, I could have just cel shaded it, but I definitely wanted to make Tails pop. And I wanted to really show some dynamic lighting with this character in some way. So uh, the video unfortunately doesn't show a lot of it, but I go into a lot of really small details around the face and uh, the muzzle part and I'm just mapping out more lighting. I'm getting more harsh shadows going on with more reds. Uh, I'm not teetering too hard with, uh, with getting extreme reds down. I don't want the entire piece to get washed out by how harsh the, the shadows would be. So I'm trying to be very diligent uh, because the shading is not over yet. Uh, I'm putting in a, a lot of details with the shading, but I also have to make it look natural. I messed around with the idea of making some fur textures on him, but I, I didn't want it to be that rendered, if that makes any sense. Uh, so basically for the rest of the piece, I am just cleaning up some areas. I'm adding some more shadows where they need to be. Uh, really trying to make that lighting strong so the shadows can can pop out and I can be able to make the lighting more dynamic. Now my favorite part of this piece was the shoes because I had rendered the shoes uh, where it indents and it 
the way I made it look, it, it was my favorite part of the piece. Um, I really made those shadows pop on his shoes and made those indents feel real. Almost 3D-like, in my opinion. That's how I interpret it. Um, which was really, really cool. I definitely want to uh, take that technique with me <laughs> in a different art piece if I happen to make shoes like that again. And then for the soles of his shoes, I kind of debated with that because I didn't know if it was going to be like metallic looking or just like shiny. I decided for like a shiny type of look. Uh, and yeah, I'm basically just going back and forth, still cleaning some parts up and I am still adding some details where they need to be added. Uh, but yeah, that's basically how the rest of this piece goes. Uh, there's not really much to shading and lighting. You just have to understand how to work in 3D in order to understand how lights are going to bounce off of each other and how lighting, depending how strong it is, if it's closer or far away, how is it going to affect uh, the shadows? Is it going to be harsher tones? Is it going to be lighter tones? Is it going to be... Um, you also have to take bounce lights into consideration and ambient occlusion. Uh, so a, a lot of thought process goes into coloring in general. Uh, but don't be afraid to tackle it because coloring can be very, very fun and relaxing. And it can also be a very, very, very long and tedious process. <laughs> but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoyed me commentating over it. I don't really have much else to say about this piece. It really does speak for itself. Uh, but th that was just a little tidbit of my thought process. And hopefully uh, I will remember to hit the time last button on Clip Studio so I can <laughs> deliver more videos like this to you guys. Uh, but other than that, yeah, the Project Armada is working very, very hard on all fronts. Uh, we got more coders. We're getting some really great concept art done and we're getting some content done for the overall project, which is very, very exciting. And I know you guys have waited a long time for this game, but making a game is not easy, especially a free game because there, there are bound to be some setbacks. But uh, we're here and we're still keeping you guys updated and we're still determined to push this project out and hopefully it will come out within the next decade. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more content. Uh, join our Discord server. It is in the link down below. We are posting game dev vlogs. So if you are very interested in either joining the project or you just want to watch how the process is made, join the server and start conversating with us. We'd love to meet you. Uh, but this has been Katone, and I am out of here. Goodbye!